Hi, room one. Hey, yesterday we introduced our new letter and today we're gonna work on the sound. So I'm back at home doing this and this is the pocket chart that I brought home that we can switch up and use for different things. We're using it for the letter S today. So this is S. We're working on S's in our Zoom meeting today, working on the handwriting page. Come up, around, down, and down, and lowercase s, you make the same way. And then I always like to include the zoophonics. Now that you guys are know the zoophonics, you know who this is. Okay, Sammy the snake, and the sound goes s, and the letter is s. And then this, these are the cards that the Nat Geo program gives us. S is for sun. See the orange and the yellow? It looks really hot, 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 doesn't it? And then also, Nat Geo gives us uh, a big box of picture cards that we love, okay? And I'm gonna take this one out here. I'm gonna take a few out. They, uh, for some of the letters, we don't have very many, but for the letter S, they gave us a lot. There's a lot. I'm gonna take a few of these out because they're SH. I'm gonna save those for a different day. Let me see. I'm gonna look for a fun one to start with. Ah, this is a good one, okay? Oops, I like to start showing the, you the picture. Can you tell that what that is? That's a seal. It's a photograph of a real seal. Now he's laying down. They like to lay on the rocks and the sand and, and the buoys out in the ocean. And they like to soak up the sun. So this is a seal. And this is how you write the word, s-e-l. You don't really hear the a, you hear the e, s-e-l. Seal, and I'm gonna put the seal box right here. Okay, well, I think I'm gonna save this one too. How about this one? Okay, that's a ball of string. It's not really a ball, it's a roll of string, right? That'd be great string for a kite, wouldn't it? This is the word stir, stir, I-N-G is ing. That's kind of a hard word to read right now, but I still like to do the reading because we've got some kids who are ready for it, so we don't want to hold them back, right? Hey, I think this one might rhyme. This this boy's uh, arm is either broken or sprang or he hurt himself, so he has it in, it's not a cast, it's called a sling. So it's kind of like that word string, but it's a S-L. Sl, and then I-N-G is ing. Sling. Oh, how about this? We all know what this is, right? It's a bar of soap, and everybody needs to be using soap right now. Get rid of all those bad germs, right? Okay, I say go ahead and go outside, get germs, okay? And then really, really wash your hands. Wash your hands, because you don't want to get your germs in your mouth, right? Okay, I. it's soap. It starts with the S, you hear the O, S, O. You do not hear the A, it's silent. And you hear the P, soap. There's the word. I think I'll move this one over and put another one. What is this one? Sock, sock, just one. So it, it does not say socks. There's not an S on it because there's just one. S, A, K. Hey, we hear the S, S. We hear the O, A. We hear the C, K, K. But there's also a K, K, K. C and K both say K. The whole word is sock. There's a lot of words that have a C and a K at the end. Let me put the sock up here next to the seal. Do you boys and girls know what this is? Something that lives in the ocean. It's a squid, a squid. And here is how you spell it. It's a S and then Q is qua, qua, squa, id, squid. Okay, how about this? Anybody know what this is? If we were in the classroom, I would be letting you guys raise your hand and I would be calling on friends to come up and put these cards in the pocket chart. Okay, this is a saw. You can hear my phone going off and my iPad and my laptop. Okay, a saw has a very sharp, jagged edge. Okay, and you use it to saw a log, a piece of wood. Maybe you're trying to get logs for your fire. Saw, okay, and this is how you spell it, saw. Let's put that one down here. Ooh, this is a fun one. Look, it's in the park. Or maybe you have one in your backyard. It's called a swing. We have them on the kindergarten playground. When you sound it out, it's s-wa, 
And then ing again, swing, swing. You know what? I'm going to put that up here with those other ing words. I told you they gave us a lot. Some some letters they only give us you know, three or four cards, and this one we have a lot. Who knows this number? It's a seven. Seven. This is how you write seven. S -e -v -n. Seven. Seven. Put that one here. Oh, here's this one. <laughs> I'm plugging my nose. This is a smelly, smelly skunk. They're only smelly if they spray you, right? So this is how you read it. S -k -a -n -k. Now you have to blend the sounds together. They goes this way. Skunk. Skunk with a white stripe down his back. We put the skunk over here. How about this one? A sink. That really looks like my sink. Okay. When I turn around, s I says I, N is N and K. S ink. Sink. I'm going to put that here. I think we're only going to do one more. Boy, they just gave us so many, didn't they? We could maybe use the other ones another day. Who knows what this is? It may be hard to tell. You might say, well, it's a bell, Mrs. Jenkins. But if you can see, it's a rectangle and there's these lines through it because it's it's been placed on a letter on an envelope and then gone through the post office. Does anyone know what that's called? Stamp. Look, st-amp. Stamp. All right, that's good. Look at all those cards. So we've got, we're off to a good start when it comes to the sound of S. We know S is for Sammy Snake and all these other things. And S is a very easy sound. So I bet if you went and looked around your house, you could find lots of S's. I'm looking right now. I don't know if you'll be able to see these. There's something in the way, but on my table over there, do you see those sunflowers? Let's see if I can make it closer now. I've got sunflowers. I might show those to you another day. And then I'm gonna step over here to my desk. And you see, I'm all ready with my Reach for Reading workbook. I'm gonna put this down. You can see my messy desk, huh? It gets messy because I'm trying to do lots of lessons today, okay? All right, so I get out my Reach for Reading. We're all caught up with all the M work. And so we're gonna turn the page. The first one then after you get that is this one. And then um, if you wanna go ahead and pull this out, you can. What they do is, they, these are supposed to be little mini flashcards. And our new site word this week is going to be my. Okay, we may not get to it for a few days. It may even be next week, but you could cut all those out. Now, if you add them to the baggie that um, you had last week with the M, then you could play little games and stuff with them. I told some people if they want if they want to use bingo daubers and look for these, they want to circle them or color them. We, we did these different ways and sometimes we just sent them home for homework too. Okay, this is the page I'm gonna do. This is the sound page. It's not gonna take us very long. There's just a few, All right? So name at the top, name at the top, name at the top. Always, always, always write your name at the top, okay? So I'm writing Mrs. J, and I think, I believe the directions say to cut those apart. You see the dotted lines? We just never did that because it says work with a partner. And um, it was just easier to do it like this because we could have a whole group doing it at the same time and not getting all their pieces mixed up. Okay, how about seal? Does that start with an S? Yes, it does. I'm gonna circle it and then I'm gonna go back and color it later. How about this milk? We know that's milk because we see a cow on it. Does that start with an S? Listen to it. Mmm. Uh-uh. We knew, we knew that from last week from M. How about this sock? Listen to it. Sock. Yes, we have that picture in the pocket chart. How about moon? See what they're doing? They're, they're putting M words on there because they say, well, the kids know M, don't they? They know M because we had M last week, but it's not this week. It's S. You could circle this too if you want. I think it's just there so we know what letter we're working on. Okay, now this one's tricky, okay? I'm gonna be able to tell who watched the video today and who just tried to do the page without listening because this is a watermelon. And if you say watermelon, you might say, that doesn't start with the S, but look down here, there's an arrow and there's a seed because the watermelon has lots of seeds inside. Does seed start with an S? S seeds, yes it does. I'm gonna circle this one. How about the number six? In the pocket chart, they gave us the number seven, but listen to this one. Six. Yes. And sink, yeah, we had that in the pocket chart. 
and sun. Now, parents, for my advanced groups, because in the classroom we would um, we would ability group the kids, and most of those TKs and the kids that come in already knowing their letters and sounds, I might do a little extra with them and say, let's sound this out. S, e, e, k, k, x. Okay, we could probably sound this one out too, couldn't we? S, a, uh, a, uh, which is a U. Mm. We always use lowercase letters when we're writing words. And you could maybe do sock, you don't have to do them all, spell all of them. But for the kids who are a little more advanced and want a little more of a challenge, s -a -e -o. okay, sock. I'm writing it correctly because it's up on the pocket chart. So I could look up there and we would probably have the pocket chart right by the table so they could see how to spell them and s ink. Now you absolutely do not have to do that, parents, okay? Um, the kids just coming into kindergarten with everything brand new, they can just circle the things that start with S and they can go back and color. I might color my seal gray, my watermelon uh, red with the black seeds, the sun, of course, yellow, the six, any color you want, the sock, any color you want, and you are done. That was an easy page today. And I do not see a marker, but you see if I could scoot over here. I am going to put a happy face on the top of that, and we're only gonna do that page uh, next time we're gonna do the other pages, okay? All right, thank you, nice job, bye.